Oh, 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 miss me. You want to take me down, huh? I'll get you. Boom! Yeah! How do you like me now? What? I haven't done a rant video in a while. You always gotta warm up when you're on a long break for that stuff, right? Anyway, what's going on everyone? I know it's been a very long time since I've done a rant video, which was most notably my only rant video on my channel so far, which was my rant on the Oscar nominations for this year. I'm sure we can all just look back and pretend most of those were not real, right? Anyway, I've been putting something like this off for a while, and it is timed perfectly right now. Today's rant is going to focus on a subject that has been bugging me for the past month, and has actually happened for all but one film that I've seen so far this month, uh, in which it has not happened yet. And the thing I'm going to be talking to you guys about, that is going to be annoying young kids and inconsiderate parents at movie theaters because I have been dealing with this for a while now. First off, this problem stemmed back to the free premiere show when I saw Battle Los Angeles a week before we actually went into theatrical release. You all remember in my review I had some positive things to say about that film, but the more I thought about it, I didn't really like it all that much because I was still in hype over the crowd I saw it with. But there was one part about that crowd that really set me over the top. There was a young three-year-old kid in front of me who kept on standing up in his seat almost every five seconds and kept on trying to grab out at my arms and the mother would just tell his kid to sit down and then the kid just stands up and does it again. It's never taken out of the theater, he just keeps on doing it. The parent really has no respect at all for me because I'm actually trying to watch this film and having the shaky cam in front of me was more than enough. But then you're going to have your kid just go up to me in their seat and then just go and keep on grabbing out at my hands when I'm trying to watch the damn movie. I'm sure the kid wasn't even paying attention in the first place anyway, right? I mean, I'm sure a lot of you have dealt with this kind of problem before, but this was only part one of it. It took only two days for this to happen again. Then I saw Ringo the day after that it came out in theaters. I was really psyched to see it because I thought this could be the first great movie of the year, and it was. But once again in my review, I did not reveal something that happened. There were so many kids that were seeing this film, and after this film for sure, I know that there were a ton of kids that were not going to understand the humor of it, of course. And in the end, I found out that I was exactly right. But here's what the big kicker was. Every kid in the theater would not shut up. They were always yammering the whole time instead of watching the movie. Add on a bunch of babies crying and being taken out of the theaters by their parents uh, and then return like five minutes later to start doing again. Come on, I'm trying to watch a movie right now. Leave your kids at home. As if those two situations couldn't get any worse, when I saw Paul, I had another incident happen to me. But this didn't even have to do with the kid, it was a teenager that happened. I was just sitting there waiting for the movie's previews to start, and all of a sudden this family of four with two kids who were about in middle school or so, I don't even care. They come in there, one of them sits down, but the other says, Oh, 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 mom, mom, mom I, need, I need candy, I need soda, I need uh, anything that's at the concession, go get it right now. Gee, I haven't had much of a sugar rush already, kid, have you? Anyway, they come back, middle of previews, walk in the middle, which I hate, of course, uh, but then again, that's kind of douchey to say because it was during previews, it wasn't during the actual film. But then when it got to about 30 minutes into showing Paul, uh, the kid next to me drops his phone and then has to search frantically while sitting on the floor below his seat. He starts looking for it and looking for it. Just save it for the end of the movie. Finally, five minutes later, he finally finds the phone. But wait! He doesn't put it in his pocket. He ends up taking it out to send a damn text message during the film. And then he ends up getting a reply back and then sends another one out. I know, what the hell? So I have several proposals to fix this solution. One, please, put your phone in a zip pocket. Two, if you have kids that are younger than the age required to see a certain film, please, save 20 of the 30 bucks you're planning to bring to that movie Use that 20 to pay a babysitter, and use the other 10 for your own ticket, and just leave it at home, and these problems won't happen in the future. And then finally, if you're bringing a kid who you know is going to make noise in this film, or you know is too young to see it, just leave them home, turn on a Pixar movie, and they're set for the day. I'm sure a lot of you have dealt with this situation before, but this is just getting ridiculous. I mean, I still have to see Sucker Punch this week, and if that's going to happen, that's going to be four out of five movies that I've seen this month, in which I've had this problem happen to me, in which it's either inconsiderate parents, annoying kids, or phone-happy people who just annoy the hell out of me. Oh man. Felt good to get out. So tell me below in the comment box of what you think about this situation because it's just been getting ridiculous for me so far. Anyway, I'd like to thank all of you for watching this. I'm sure a lot of you have connected to this situation before, but not as much as I have in the past three out of four movies that I've seen. So, so stay tuned on Wednesday for the underrated movie review, which will be for one that 
most of you might not have heard of either. In the meantime, I'm Tyler from Cali Kirk Reviews, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.